Hey, this is Brian, and today we're going to go over how to create a dashboard inside of Sensor Tracks. So, to create your own dashboard, first you have to log in, obviously, and then go to Analytics and Dashboards, which were here already. You also need to have dashboard editing permissions as part of your security group. Uh, and if you do, you'll see the edit button here um, and also the ability to create a new dashboard. So let's say we want to create a new one. So we choose new dashboard from there. It creates a blank dashboard with a date range of yesterday and uh, it's called new dashboard. So let's edit it. First thing I want to do is change the name. So to change the name, I click on the little drop down arrow here. I go to dashboard settings and then I can change the title. Let's just call it OEE dashboard. Okay. A couple other settings here. You can share it with other people. You can allow them to edit it or not. Um, you can also set it to refresh every so often. So if you want it to refresh automatically and then you can choose the layout. So I'm going to go with the defaults here. And the next thing we have to do is add a widget. So a widget are little widgets that you can place onto a dashboard. You can put as many as you want on a dashboard and you configure each one. So there's nine of them out of the box. What we're going to do today is a line bar chart. We'll also do a table and maybe a Pareto chart. So when I hit that, it comes up with the configuration screen. I can change the title. So let's just do OEE by day. Um, we want to choose the category field. So the category field is the X axis. It's what goes across the bottom of a graph. Okay. And the series is the data that's plotted on the Y axis. So they come together and they make lines or bars or whatever. So let's say we want to do OEE. So we're going to add a series and I can search for the fields or I can just look through each thing. So we want OEE by production run and I'm going to change the name of it here. I'm going to create a vertical bar chart. Um, Average is the only aggregate that's available on OEE. It does the calculations for you automatically. And then it shows you an example of what it's going to look like and also um, field information. So what is this field? So if you're not sure, you can flip back and forth and then the formula. So let's hit update. Okay. You also have the ability to filter. So if I only want to look at a certain department or a certain type of machine or something like that, I can do that and I can sort as well. So I'm just going to hit apply. And we'll see our OEE across all plants yesterday was 51%. Pretty easy, right? Well, let's say I want to see it machine by machine. Well, there's 40 different machines in our uh, environment here, so it's going to look a little strange, but let's take a look at that. So we're going to look for machine here in the list and machine name, so it's going to group. The other thing I want to do is I want a stacked bar chart, meaning I want them stacked on top of each other versus one bar per machine. So I'm going to go to advanced, turn on stack, click update and apply. And there we go. So we could filter this down. So let's say, you know, on our chart, we're really only interested in a single facility. So we could look at those and, you know, what you're looking at is individual OEEs here per machine. Maybe it doesn't make sense to have it stacked. Let's turn it off. But a lot of flexibility there in terms of what you can show, okay? See the Mazak's got zero, it's not showing. And let's add another widget. So let's do a Pareto. So I'm gonna pick a Pareto and let's say, um, you can do a lot of things with Pareto. So the most common one is show me across the bottom. I wanna see downtime reasons or scrap reasons and then I want it, you know, the duration in minutes uh, up the Y axis, so let's do that. So let's just say downtime and across the bottom, what we want is downtime reasons, reason name, and then we want the duration of downtime. Okay. All right. So we want the sum, but you could do, you know, counts and other things as well. Um, and then you could add a filter if you want. So I, I am going to add a filter just to make this a little bit quicker. Uh, there's something called event type which allows me to only look at events that are downtime events. So downtime, okay, apply. Pareto chart. So I can also move these around. I can just grab the header and move it there. One of the cool things about the Pareto's and the flexibility about the product is that you can put whatever you want down here. So maybe rather than looking at, you know, individual reason codes, I want to know which machine had the most downtime and I want to Pareto out machine downtime, right, by machine. 
So rather than having downtime reason here, I'm gonna look for machine name right here, and it's gonna group by that instead. I'm gonna hit apply, and now we can see our Mazak has most of the downtime. 30%, 39% of the downtime comes from the Mazak. So pretty cool. And then when you're done, you can just hit save. Okay, and then we have a dashboard. So again, I'm Brian with Sensor Tracks. Wanted to show you how easy it is to create a flexible dashboard inside of Sensor Tracks. If you have any questions, please reach out and let us know. Thanks.